Are you confused about OAuth and JWT? In this video, we break down the key differences between OAuth, Open Authorization, and JWT, JSON Web Token, and explain when to use each. Whether you're building a secure authentication system, working with APIs, or designing a microservices architecture, understanding these two technologies is essential. Purpose OAuth, a protocol for authorization, allowing third party applications to access user data without exposing credentials. It is commonly used for single sign on, SSO, and delegated access. JWT, a token format used for securely transmitting information between parties as a JSON object. It can be used for authentication, information exchange, and authorization. How they work. OAuth uses a token-based mechanism where the client obtains an access token from an authorization server and uses it to access protected resources. JWT, a self-contained token that includes encoded claims, user data, roles, expiration, etc. It is often used in OAuth but can also work independently. Token type. OAuth uses access tokens which can be JWTs, opaque strings, or other formats, and optionally refresh tokens for reauthentication. JWT, a specific type of token that follows the JSON Web Token Standard and is usually signed and optionally encrypted. Use cases. OAuth, best for third-party authentication, example, login with Google, API access control, and delegated permissions. JWT, best for stateless authentication in microservices, session management, and secure data exchange. Security considerations. OAuth requires secure storage of refresh tokens, example, in a database and careful handling of scopes and permissions. JWT, since it is stateless and cannot be revoked easily, short expiration times and secure signing, example, RS-256, are critical. Token validation. OAuth. Access tokens need to be validated by the authorization server. JWT can be verified locally using the public key of the issuer without needing to call an external server. Expiry and refresh. OAuth. Uses refresh tokens to obtain new access tokens when they expire. JWT. Has an expiration time embedded in the token and refreshing requires issuing a new token. Which one to use? Use OAuth when you need delegated authorization, example. Accessing user data in another system. Use JWT for stateless authentication and microservices where validating tokens without a database lookup is important. OAuth and JWT can be used together. OAuth 2.0 often issues JWTs as access tokens. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions.